Well, hello there, YouTube, if you can even hear me. Welcome to Thursday, the uh, 5th of January. That wind that was down south came up. But it's a very comfortable 49 degrees out here. It feels like summer. Ah, oh, it feels great. Oh, <clears throat> I don't think I can make it to work today. I got some motorcycles in the shop that are calling me to be ridden. I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like, but this is phenomenal. The wind, oh, 49 degrees just feels like a midsummer day. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this would be a good day. The wind will dry everything out real quick. The wind will toss you around on the motorcycle. But nope, got to go to work. Son of a gun. Oh, well. Mama? All this wind, that nice warm 49 degrees, that's so screaming good. flirty and some other motorcycle. Yes, it is. Let's that go is. get tossed around in the wind. That would be good. I feel a fever coming. Yeah, in. that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take my temperature right quick, I Mama? Know. I think I need, you know, air therapy. Yeah, <laughs> good old wind therapy. Yes. All right, let's do the deed. Mama? This is the second day in a row. The weather got less nice as we came south. I know. It was very nice and windy. Yeah. Think. That's crazy. All that wind we had at the house and we got the freeway, it was just oh. completely calm. Yeah. Just and then higher elevations. By the time we got to Castle Rock, it was sprinkling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, what in the holy heck? I know. Yeah, the other night, it was a peaceful drive to work. It was. It was something about it was very calming today. That was, I know. Peculiar. Yeah, craziness or yeah. No, just no crazy people. All right. Well, hopefully the day will continue that way. Yes, let's hope so. <laughs> no crazies. Yeah. It's weird we don't have like crazy customers and stuff. We used to. It seemed like. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. People just mad. Just come yeah. in mad. Yeah. Not that we did anything wrong. They just come no, in they mad. Mad before they ever got here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Weird things. Mm -hmm. but those years going by. Yep. So anyway, currently mm -hmm. on Thursday, have yourself a wonderful day. You too, hubby. All righty. I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Mm, bye. So how about we take this young lady for a for a pre-service cruise here? You know, I'm looking at the RO and um. Oh, I forgot you gotta wait. <laughs> it's got the sprocket recall on it, too. I'm, I'm thinking, didn't I do that already? Well, no, the thing didn't even power up or, you know, do anything. So my focus was finding that issue. So no, so I have to go up and grab a, a sprocket for it and pray that it doesn't fight me off of there. <laughs> It doesn't have any rust on it, so that's what scares me. But all the ones that, you know, which most of them don't, there's still enough Kluber grease in there that literally you just untorque the bolt. You know, of course, the sprock, or I mean, the uh, belt and everything has to be out of the way, but just grab it and slide it right off the shaft. Clean the uh, Kluber grease residue off because you're not using that to put it back on. Not with that sprocket. And uh, that that should be the only one you put in, but I think in an emergency, if someone's down on the road traveling, whatever, and he's down, you can uh, you can use the white sprocket temporarily if the uh, gray one's not available. But yeah, we have no problem getting them readily available. It seems. purse like a kitten it was just an electrical thing was the only deal man you should have seen the codes because this uses the old um buds three point whatever it is it's uh buds all is what we refer to it um everything's oh look at that fj40 but everything 2017 and newer uses buds too so uh it doesn't automatically the buds too whether you manually save a file or not, as soon as you hook up to it, it kind of takes a, it saves its own buds file. 
they're only just a few kilobytes, you know. It's just enough that tells the computer what it sees and all that jimmer jammer. But yeah, save that. That was that was more pages of codes. And of course, you know, me constantly with the key on, key off, key on, key off, all the tests I was doing. Every time I'm doing that, it's just I think it clicked every possible fault code that could uh ever happen to one of those got triggered. <laughs> it was huge. Oh, the other interesting thing is, is, and I'm going, that's weird, I've been pushing this thing around, but it did, it did push stiff. So I go, man, before I even look at the war zone out here. So, you know, before I uh, rolled it off the rack, I checked the air in the tires. And um, they go, yeah, he's only like one and a half pounds off in the front i think he's two off in the rear but things been sitting with us for you know and who knows when the last time they were checked so i mean nothing unusual and i'm like well i think sure rolled stiff so uh anyway <laughs> i start the thing up and uh, of course it doesn't do anything i look down and go oh the neutral light's not on and i'm going well that's weird oh that's why i was pushing stiff you know because they'll still move even though they're in gear. But I'm thinking, man, they usually move a whole lot stiffer than that because they're usually in first gear. Because you can't be in any other gear when you're idling. Nope. <laughs> and I remember his little, he leaves cool little notes with uh, each one of the bikes. You know, he types out this thing. It's cool. <laughs> it must be an ex BMW owner. That's the kind of stuff they always do. But uh, anyway. He said that she was driving down the road when it just finally conked out on her. So I hit, hold my foot on the brake like you do to, you know, it forces itself into neutral. What well, starts up and it goes, clunk, click, clunk, clunk. It makes a stuttering sound like, oh no, what is this? And it's going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was in fifth gear. All the noise was the thing <laughs> shifting down to get itself into neutral. So yeah lights went out while everything was in the gold position <laughs> but she's all good um i know some i haven't looked at the ro in a bit I, I forgot he wants the hcm filter the hydraulic control module filter replaced while we're doing the the oil change I still don't have a specific on what service we're doing, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at everything, and then uh, so I'll definitely do the HCM oil and filter, of course, and uh, you know I'll, I'll take a look. I could see the air box, see the air filter. I'm seeing the outside. That's not where the dirt comes in. Oh no, it does come from the outside in. Yeah, I'm thinking backwards on that. Yeah, the air filter look. Well, I'll check it anyway. It looked like brand new. They have a very distinct look to them when they get dirty. You know, when the it's funny how you get used to the trees, and you know when you're coming to this um, apartment complex area. And uh, in the winter time, I it's not unlike me to to turn in a street early. I'm loving how it's we don't have this crazy increase in sunset times I mean it's definitely creeping forward you guys could see the remnants of it last night but uh, it's crazy how much more twilight we have of course it has to be clear for you to because it could be pouring down rain it'll be dark at three o'clock <laughs> it's crazy how dark thick our clouds are and how much light they can block off purrs like a kitten She's a good old gal. Oh, I turned the... I didn't turn them off. They look cool, so I just leave them on, but the fog lights are on. That one, the right side, had the terminal that came apart. Well, that wasn't the first time it came apart because the little... the, the pins and the coupler housing was just bored out it doesn't have the clips that hold it anymore so but it has a little waterproof uh, boots on it still 
so I just pushed the pin so they were dangling out and then when I got the fairing on and I'm putting that together I just pushed the pins into the coupler and um, pushed the little waterproof boots together and assembled it all the only bad thing about that is the next guy that takes it apart is going to be going what the heck <laughs> but she's in there it's safe it's secure it's not going anywhere it's not like it's getting tugged on or anything like that anyway I turned the fog lights on just to make sure that side came on with this side little tiny wires for that thing too that's pretty crazy isn't it weird how open I know I say this all the time but in the winter time especially because you know I haven't been doing a lot of test rides um, I keep looking around going what happened to all the trees they cut all the trees down <laughs> it's just there's no leaves in them they have no sustenance I love seeing it. I know I point out there and you guys never see it but the snow running across those mountains back there <laughs> I don't know, that just makes the old heart go pitter-patter. We complain about the weather, but when it's nice, it's really nice. You see a lot of cool things, especially around the mountain areas, you know. Hey, yeah, you're coming up on me kind of fast there, buddy. Holy moly. You're probably... <laughs> Our GSXR is not sitting out there today. Maybe it's his day off. I've done a whole bunch of stuff since Kelly and I said goodbye. It just uh, nothing vlog worthy. Clean stuff up. And got this off the rack. Clean that rack up. Helped Adam with the BMW. It's got some worn worn cam lobes and followers there's a technical service tip on this thing but it's quite old I told him I said when you're talking to T Sarah and they tell you what to do if they tell you what to do he's in the process of taking they were having him take a bunch of pictures and stuff there he is standing today but um Anyway, I said, be very clear, ask specifically, are they going to pay for this or are they going to assist in this? Because the last one I did, you remember the God, it BMW guy, he was a BMW customer 10, 12 years before we were even a BMW dealer. You know, we just, he actually supplied me with the manuals, digital versions of the manuals. I still have those things, believe it or not, for these old BMWs. Remember we had the open house, and he had that, uh, I think it was a GS that he was riding, with 107 or 111,000 miles on it. But anyway, he bought a rental bike from Eagle Rider or one of those places like that. Had crazy high miles on it. And uh, the cams and followers were wore out in that. So, you know, I know there's that TST bulletin about it. And uh, that was back when it was, they're using Puma. Now it's called Tessera. Don't ask. I don't even know what the acronyms even mean. But anyway, uh, BMW goes, oh, yeah. You need to replace the, you know, per outlined in the bulletin, replace them with these updated followers. And of course, you know, it's already ruined the cam, so it needs both, or yeah, all four cams. And uh, so we did, like $3,500 worth of parts later, they go to submit the claim, BMW says, uh, no. I said, well, we have a Puma case, it was back at the time, where you told us to replace them. Told you to replace them, didn't say we were going to pay for them. So I was telling Adam, ask specifically you need a record i had great records but i had nothing saying that they were going to pay for it Dang, kill me. don't you dare cry. oh he's got a little bit of white on his chest yeah you ain't solid black starting to sprinkle on me I'm gonna cut underneath you there, buddy. I see what you're doing. 
Oh, they're renovating, doing something with that building. Maybe they're gonna turn it back into a kitty care again. I haven't seen the little kids out there in quite a while. Dang, I could only get one wheel in the little cut. I keep meaning to fly a wheel and see if I can negotiate and get two wheels to go through. <laughs> time to be at the end of the ride because the, the rain is a coming yeah this thing absolutely wonderful you go your way I'll go my way all right I'm sure some of you probably thought you'd never see this thing run I gotta say, there's a couple of moments here. <laughs> I was definitely wondering. I thought for sure it was gonna be a whole harness. There was a harness replaced, but uh, not like the whole thing. Yeah, buddy, she's a good old gal. 27,000 miles, and she literally, it took me longer to clean the perfectly applied Kluber grease than anything else. I loosen the belt, grab the sprocket, and it just slid right off like it's supposed to. Perfect shape. And this is this is a 2016, you know, or, or F3 Limited Special Series, August of 15. So that is the sprocket it came with. Nobody swapped it because you know the dates keep changing. So perfect. <laughs> Had the Kluber grease just kind of like that white spider. I thought, yeah, this will be a cakewalk. And uh, yeah, I just reached up there to grab it. And she was froze on. I reached up and grabbed this one. It just slid right off like it, like, it, like it was on ball bearings. It was so smooth. Perfect. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. It's 50 degrees out here, I don't know, five or 10 minutes after nine. I'm just sitting nice. here in a Klein base layer. Yeah. Mama's all bundled up like it's 12 degrees out here. I'm always cold. <laughs> <laughs> but um, got that F3 special series. She's done. I turned the paperwork in towards the end of the day. I don't know if they processed it and called him yet, but it feels good. That thing runs so good. I Even when I was done test riding it before I even did the service or anything to it, I thought, God, I said, boy, sometimes you come across something that just runs strong. That she was, uh, maybe was just so happy that it was running good, but she's very spirited. Nice. Yeah, nice. I like that. Have fun. That was one you could you could rip around on and have a lot of fun. Very cool. But anyway, I think because uh, I ended up taking a, like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute nap when I got home, um, I need to get to working on the vlog. <laughs> so we're going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> all righty well thank you guys so much for what <clears throat> i have got a frog thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys have a wonderful friday or saturday yeah friday tomorrow yes yeah. Mm -hmm. all right i guess that'll be it we we'll see you in the appreciate morning appreciate you guys watching yes. <laughs> bye bye now mm -hmm.